Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. We're live, large and in charge on a Thursday morning and always so good to have your company. Now, usually during this segment, we look up at the stars, but this morning, we're turning our focus back down to Earth because technically, we are part of the cosmos as well. Now, we all know that the Earth has a, a north and a south pole, but there is also a magnetic field surrounding the planet. But lately, it's been acting a little wonky, a little strange. And here to unpack uh, this issue is our spaceman, Dan, Dr. Daniel Kahnemer. Great to have you back with us, Dan. Thank you for being uh, We mm -hmm. were just having a discussion off air now. I'm saying, uh, well, I was saying that I feel like I was lied to in, in, in primary school, in high school, in geography, where they said magnetic north is there, true north is there. But you're saying it's constantly moving? What's happening? Yeah, yeah. So the, the magnetic north is not, is not aligned with true north. So yes. the true north is where the, the Earth rotates. The magnetic north is, is misaligned. And it, it was even at high school geography. There was always that sort of yes. correction you had to make. But that correction uh, changes. So it's, it's been moving at like mm, 10, 20 kilometers per year over the last... 100 years. Backwards, forwards? So all in one direction, actually. It seems to be, it's sort of tracking away from, from true north. From true north. Um, but then over the last few years, and why it's interesting at the moment, is it's really ramped up. So the last few years, it's been moving at over 50 k's per year. So, oh, my so goodness. So magnetic north is moving, um, and towards Russia at the moment. OK, so, <laughs> I mean, obviously, this must be a concern for scientists. I mean, it's, it's gone from 20 k's to 50 k's now uh, in a year, right? What does this mean and why do scientists uh, focus on this right now? So there's, there's two things. Firstly, the, the moving of the North Pole and so where your compass needle is going to point is going to move. Yes, yes, um, yes. So, th so that's important for uh, navigation. Obviously, it, it, it does not affect GPS. So GPS satellites are based in space. Mm -hmm. So if you're using GPS for navigation, you're absolutely fine. Uh, but if you are using a compass and a lot of fallback mechanisms and aeroplanes and things like that do rely on compasses still. Yeah. Um, so that, that is changing and that needs to be updated. But the, the more concerning thing for scientists is actually that in the movement of this magnetic north, the magnetic field is weakening. So if the magnetic field sort of swaps, um, and it, it has been known to swap in the past hundreds of times, uh, over the last millions of years. Okay. Um, so north will become south and south will become north. Yes. Um, that happens o like over a, a, a long period of time, over a few thousand years it will take to actually swap. But in that process it will weaken. And when it weakens, the, the protection that the magnetic field gives us kind of weakens. Which too. is what protection exactly? So the sun gives off a lot of highly charged particles yes uh, and they are coming towards us all of the time uh -huh. as well as the light it's also streaming particles towards us and when there's a big storm on the sun we get aurora at, at the north and south poles yes and the reason they come at the north and south poles is because the magnetic field deflects them from hitting us directly and then they they move to the north and south and then cascade in there okay so that that is the protection that it, it provides so it kind of deflects all these things and uh, most of them miss the Earth, some cascade in at the poles. But if that, if that weakens too much, then those uh, highly charged particles will be well, able to stream directly in. And that can affect all sorts of things, like the, the power grid, um, satellites, um, yeah. I guess uh, global warming is also a factor here when you, when you think about the amount that penetrates through the atmosphere and what's kept inside. So, so these, these charged particles aren't going to be responsible for heating. Okay, um, okay. So the, the light is what heats the Earth. Mm -hmm. um, these are, are, are sort of different, they'll have a different effect on us. Yes. Um, but, but yeah, the, the weakening of the magnetic field is, is the main concern at the moment. But again, it will Oof. happen over thousands of years. So we, we'll come up with something. We'll come up with something, <laughs> hopefully. Thanks, Dan. Always appreciate your time. Uh, let us know which stories uh, about what's happening out there in the galaxy have been catching your attention. Share them with us online. And then, of course, uh, always hashtag Expresso Show. Thanks, Dan.